Grim Reaper is crying? Hey Boba Buddies, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have the first episode of Yellow Generation of the Not So Berry Challenge. Are we excited? I know I am. <laughs> we are officially starting Yellow Generation. We are focusing on Daisy. And I'm so excited because I have all of this plans and plot and stories and plot twists kind of. Well, it depends <laughs> how you look at it for Daisy's story. And I'm really, really excited to play her generation and see where it goes. And yeah, so if you need a refresher and want to know what Yellow Generation is all about, I will go ahead and read the rules for this generation in case you forgot. So for generation three, yellow, growing up, you never had a close relationship with your mother and spent the majority of your time alone in your room obsessing over space. You just really love space. You'll do whatever it takes to get to 6M no matter the cost. And the rules are master rocket science and handiness skill, master astronaut and complete nerd brain aspiration, must build a rocket ship and visit 6M, enter the secret lot in Oasis Springs, and never have any close friends a relationship other than grandparent from generation one until grandparent dies and we already completed that so that's cool but not really cool because i miss pepper so much <laughs> But yeah, that's basically generation three and what we have to do. Also, I did ask on my community tab what you all think about Daisy going to university because I felt like Daisy going to university would be fun because I haven't really done any university kind of stuff since it first came out and a good majority of you said yes you should take daisy to university so that's what we're gonna do basically in today's episode we are going to have daisy prepare and study her booty off so she can get into the school of her dreams the school of her dreams is foxbury institute because she wants to try to get a distinguished degree there and she wants to major in physics we are going to try our dang best to get in Foxbury and with the help of her stepfather Zachary and Rosie and right now she's actually hanging out with Zachary playing their like Sunday chess games that they usually do which is so cute but she is telling Zachary about her plan and about studying really hard to get into Foxbury and she's gonna brag about her grades and like be like yeah I think I have a good GPA to get into Foxbury and everything and Zachary is like yeah oh yeah I definitely believe that like Daisy you are a smart person like if Foxbury Institute does not accept you then I don't know what they're thinking because you are smart and would be a great fit to Foxbury so Zachary is definitely hyping her up and telling her that she'll do great and now he's even inspired and with that though let's go ahead and like research Foxbury because that's the main place she wants to go to if she does not get accepted to Foxbury though she will just head to Brightchester even if it's not her first choice she just wants to have a backup plan and everything like that before she does go also poor little Scarlet sick can we give Scarlet Scarlet the vet treat please and hopefully she feels better I feel so sad oh poor baby Scarlet okay so Foxbury Institute consistently rated as premier university Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective field the university is always looking for students who dare to dream big and that is Daisy Daisy loves to dream big she dreams to visit 6am one day she dreams to build her own rocket ship and just explore space and and everything like that so I feel like she would be a great fit in Foxbury and the distinguished degrees is what she wants to focus in which is physics so yeah hopefully we are just gonna make sure Daisy studies the heck out before she actually applies like she's gonna study 
all day and all night. <laughs> Actually, though, we should take Daisy to the library on campus so she can have an idea of what Brightchester is like. She wants to call up her cousin, London, and have them both hang out on a day together and visit the place so they can both get familiar with how things work. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Speaking of London, she read my mind. You sent the best memes. Got anywhere? We got you London. We got you. We should definitely take London and Daisy over there and just check out the place and make sure that they're ready because they are graduating pretty pretty soon and applications, college applications are coming up and they got a study for that and prepare and make sure everything will be fine okay so extra credit is complete we're gonna go ahead and tell rosie that we're gonna go ahead and go out with london to check out brightchester and everything like all right, that so here we are at the library where all the uni students hang out to study in and daisy is so excited to be here and she's so happy that london came along so we're gonna ask her about our day hey look it's eloise oh my god she hasn't changed since we last saw her let's have them go ahead and play together and just like explore the library and see how it is daisy look this is going to be your future place where you study this is where you're gonna meet some people maybe if you want <laughs> and this is where you're gonna like cry and study and study all night because you're stressed for finals and midterms, but hey, you know, it's gonna be a good time. You'll be alone, you'll be by yourself, independent, and everything like that. Are you excited? I'm so excited for her. And then here we have Daisy and London just hanging out, talking about like, hey, yeah, I've been like studying all weekend. Yeah, brag about studying, about how she's getting ready for like the Sims SATs and everything like that to make sure she really gets in like daisy really really wants to get in to foxbury and like london i feel like she doesn't really care too much or she's not as serious with getting into her dream school but daisy definitely is but london is there to support her throughout the whole thing and i'm just glad like daisy i know she has a hard time making friends and everything but i'm glad she has her cousin at least and they're like around the same age oh and daisy's like yeah i'm gonna be moving out of my parents home and everything like that and i'm so excited to leave on my own <laughs> Oh, I think London's mad because she's like losing. Daisy has been playing with Zachary London and Zachary is really good. So it's going to be pretty much impossible for you to like beat <laughs> Daisy. I'd be so shocked if you were actually able to beat Daisy here. Oh, see, London doesn't really care. She's like, oh, let me take a selfie here and post it on my Instagram. I want to be so cool and be like, yeah, look at me. I'm on the college campus and everything like that. Oh my gosh, who's this? Natasha, you're so cute. Oh, I remember you. She was like the one outside of the bowling alley from the first episode of Rose Generation. That's so wild. She's an adult now. With you two, you both can actually maybe will have you both take selfies so that way like london can <laughs> post it on instagram because i know she's taking selfies and everything like that and we want some memories too before you head out on your own daisy yeah look at these cuties oh they're so cute also, if you are wondering, I think I'm going to have Daisy live on Brightchester, like in the world of Brightchester, but I think I just might have her live alone. Since she has a lot of money, thanks to Zachary oh, and so Rosie, so she'd be able to pay for housing by herself. So she doesn't really need roommates or anything like that. And Daisy rather be alone. So she's just going to rent a housing here on Brightchester. But they are hungry, so we'll have London and Daisy head on out and head up 
the local teen place so they can grab some food before they both have to get home. All right, so here we are. We are at the arcade and we'll have them order food for... Can we order food for the group? No, we can only order food for ourselves. Okay, I guess. Let's have you buy some fish and chips and then maybe you both can play some video games before you both have to head home. Because it is 5.30 p.m. It's not too late. So I don't think Rosie and Zachary would be too mad. But I don't know about Garnet and Saturn though. I love how they're sitting together. They're so cute. No, don't throw shade. <laughs> Why would you throw shade to London? She didn't do anything. Okay, maybe we can play some foosball too. That would be so fun. And this reminds me, oh my gosh, the arcades just remind me of the time when Pepper and Valentine hung out that one time. I'm um, just like reminiscing on the past. I love this family. <laughs> I just love this family so much. Okay, can you both play? <gasps> no! Garnet and Saturn is calling up London being like, London, you have to get home now. It's getting late and you take the train ride home and bus ride home back to San Myshuno. So please get home now before it gets dark. So unfortunately, London is going. We didn't get to play a foosball or anything like that. Can you play? Maybe she'll be able to play. Maybe like one game on her own because she does like being by herself. Oh, Daisy, you're so cute. After this game, though, we'll go ahead and go home, call up Rosie, and have her pick you up here. While we are at home, we can hopefully... Can we work on anything else? We'll have her work on her nerd brain inspiration so we can, like, start crafting. Oh, she's gonna cry it out. Who died? A friend. Who died? Lena? Oh, Angela's dead, too? Oh my gosh, everyone's dying. And Zachary's just here sleeping while <laughs> Rosie's just crying her eyes out. Oh, poor Rosie. Okay, so our skills though are not too bad. We have level 4 handiness, level 4 logic, and level 3 rocket science, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So I think when she gets back home from tomorrow after school and after she does her homework, we're gonna apply for uni and see how that turns out. And then, oh, Rosie's over here sitting. Maybe you both can play together. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yay, she finished it. Okay. Rosie has been cooking so much lately. I guess that's her new hobby is just cooking. Ever since she retired from work, she's just been cooking too. <laughs> that's like her new hobby. Okay, but I love these two too. Daisy's talking to Rosie. <gasps> yeah, let's go cheer her up because I know she's been sad and everything like that and just talk about how Daisy's really nervous about going to uni and she's like been stressed and been studying her like heart out and Rosie's like Daisy don't you worry I know you're gonna get in Foxbury if anything I will pull some strings if you don't get into Foxbury I will make sure you go into Foxbury even though that sounds very illegal but Rosie cheated her way up to the top and cheated in many relationships so Rosie has no shame in her game like at all <laughs> Rosie wants best for her child, so she will do anything to make sure she gets in. But Daisy's like, Mom, don't worry. I want to get in the legitimate way. I've been studying, and I, I'm just nervous and anxious. But Mom, don't worry. Please, please. I'll, I'll go to Brightchester Uni if I have to. <laughs> and then Zachary is joining in and being like, Yeah, Rosie, please don't do that. That's very illegal. Daisy has great potential. She's going to do great. She's going to do fine. And I know she's going to get in serenade oh my gosh that's so sweet and i love how like scarlet's just sleeping with them around them and cherry adopted oh another child that's so sweet i don't think cherry's actually married either let's see our family tree so cherry is not like technically married but she's like 
adopting a bunch of kids and i think that's really really cute that's so cute rory i'm surprised he married giovanni because i really thought he had a thing with eloise but i guess something didn't work out for them and then garden and saturn still married still in love as ever which is so sweet and poppy poppy living her dream with tane which is so cute they have a daughter together and i'm just happy i'm happy for them and i'm so excited for daisy because we'll be able to have more than one child for this generation i know i want to have at least two or three kids so yeah but all right it's like midnight you have school right in the morning oh i saw that she hugged her mom and be like mom thank you for everything i love you it'll be okay oh she's like mom don't worry everything will be okay thank you for everything and i love you so much raise and shine daisy also last night daisy got a sentiment with rosie and she adores her mother and she wants the best for rosie and she, oh it's just so sweet i'm just so happy that rosie and daisy's relationship got better as soon as like rosie decided to finally settle down and like ever since like pepper pass like rosie definitely stepped up to become a better mother and it just makes me happy and so oh i just i love my family i love me i love me since family <laughs> so nice work completing school projects really has a positive impact on your grades keep up the good work so what are we at we are an a student knowing daisy though she's gonna study hard because as i said she really wants to make sure that she gets in so she's doing her best to become the top of her class and everything like that she's doing all the extra credit all the extracurricular and all the study guides and everything like that. Alrighty, so Daisy is back home. She has a school project so she can start working on that. And it appears as if Daisy is having problems with the alphabet. She can't seem to get past A. Kudos. Okay, nice, Daisy. So where is your extra credit project? So, ooh, we can have you start working on this carefully. And then Mika wants to call. After you talk with Mika though, definitely have Zachary help you out and everything. And then apply for university. This is so scary, but I know you can do it, Daisy. Okay, Zachary will have you assist Daisy so you can help her out and everything to make sure Daisy is on the top of her school. Can you also help with Daisy as well? oh my god you can the whole family can do this look at that i love this they are all trying to help daisy be the top of the top of the top and it just it makes me happy even though like rosie has no idea what's going on she's just following what zachary tells her to do like hey baby can you grab me that like tool over there and rosie's like yeah sure babe <laughs> she's like you guys do all the work i'll just pass you the tools and everything like that <laughs> oh and also poppy's here she's pregnant look at her oh i'm so happy for poppy i'm so excited for her <gasps> yay they did it oh my gosh okay daisy are you ready now it is time for you to officially apply and wait for the results you got this daisy you got this Okay, Daisy's university application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days. Daisy may also check her application status at any time in the computer. Okay, whoo, that is so nerve-wracking, but I believe in her. I believe. Also, speaking of university, though, I will be doing a lot off-camera because university does take a really long time to complete. So I'm just going to probably show you the midterms, finals, and her graduation and little, like, social events in between. But, like, for the whole university thing, I'm just going to do a lot of things off-camera. So I hope you don't mind. It's just university does take a long time, but I do want her to go to university. So I don't want Yellow Gen just to be about university. <laughs> because she has a lot of stuff after university live who's calling you we're fixing your phone line don't pick it up the next time someone calls let's just hang up hey wait don't you want to 
beep. <laughs> Good Daisy. I'm glad you you hung up. That was really weird and cryptic. And it's almost Daisy's birthday. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hopefully she gets her application by then. Oh, she's so stressed. <laughs> she has like dark circles and eye bags because she's been up all night studying, doing extra credit work and everything like that, Daisy. It's okay. Things will be okay. I know you'll be able to do it. <gasps> no! Scarlet! No! Everyone go inside. Go here. Let's go. Everyone has to see this. No! Oh no! Rosie is so heartbroken! Daisy's just trying not to fall asleep, but oh my gosh! Oh, Daisy. <laughs> Rosie and Zarker are both so upset right now. Oh, there you go. She had a delayed reaction, but there it is. No, Scarlet. They're all so upset, especially Rosie. We'll miss you, Scarlet. May you rest in peace. Oh, okay. Daisy's about to pass out any moment, so she needs to go to bed. And then Rosie, you need to go to bed and Zachary too. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, <laughs> even Grim Reaper is crying. Oh, <laughs> Grim, I didn't know you had a heart. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. Alrighty, Daisy's back home for school. She is so sad about losing Scarlet and on top of being stressed. So awaiting university acceptance, the stress of waiting for a university application results is maddening. Her whole future is riding on this acceptance letter. So Daisy is so freaking nervous. She is so stressed out of her mind. But Daisy, let's get your mind off of things and have you play some chess with your stepdad and she wants to win a game of chess so hopefully she can win if she is able to be Zachary then she's like oh I did it this feels good poor Daisy oh my gosh so she's sad because of Scarlet and then she has dark circles because as I said she's just been losing a lot of sleep and stressing over university and getting in so she has like no sleep sleep and anything like that daisy i'm sorry to say but when you get to college you might lose even more sleep so you know what might have to get used to not sleeping and also you know maybe think about drinking some coffee i think that would really help you a lot all right before daisy goes to school today let's see if she got her application status and see if she's gotten any updates on anything because i know she's been stressed the application is still going through the system. Check back soon. Ah, oh, but I want to know now. <laughs> we want to know now. Oh, never mind. She has to go to school. Oh, how sweet. Daisy came back home and Rosie is like, happy birthday, Daisy. It is Daisy's birthday, so we'll go and bake a cake for her and everything like that. I can't believe Daisy is not in her teen years anymore, which is a while to me. Let's see. Let's go check application status again to see if we got in anything back since we've been gone from school. Nothing. Nothing yet. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, so Rosie has made the cake. We'll add the birthday candles and we'll go ahead and invite some family members over so they can hang out. And then we'll have Rosie also invite London so she can come over and hang out and celebrate Daisy's birthday and everything like that. Zachary, if you have to use the restroom, go use it. London's coming over. I see Garnet. We have Rory and Terry. All the aunts and uncles and favorite cousins are here, which is so fun. Daisy, why are you cooking? Stop cooking. Is everyone coming inside? I hope so. Oh yeah, Poppy gave birth. Oh my god, how exciting. We'll have Daisy greet London, who is her favorite cousin. London, come on over. Oh no, what happened? Why are they shocked with Rory? Let's form a group though, so that way everyone can be in the same room as Daisy when she blows out the candles. Yep, it is Daisy's birthday. We are all celebrating right now. 
Cherry, come over here. Cherry, <laughs> call her over. Why is she rehearsing? Happy birthday, Aliyah. What? Wrong, wrong house, everyone. Wrong house. Where, where's London? Okay, I guess London was trying to call Cherry, but Cherry just, just does not want to come over. But all right, Daisy, let's go taste the frosting. Man, she's getting so many phone calls. Kate, oh my god, so many people are dying. No. You know what? Let's just celebrate Daisy's birthday, okay? We are celebrating the life of Daisy and everything like that. Wait, you didn't age up. There's something wrong with Rory. We might have to, like, kick him out. Yeah, there's something wrong with Rory. Rory, I'm sorry, but you have to go home. Because there's something wrong with you. There we go. See, Rory was the problem. I guess no one wanted to see Rory. But he still sent us a gift, which is so nice. Thank you, uncle. But... Okay, so Daisy is officially aged up. She is going to be ambitious, which is her last trait. There we go, which is so exciting. I'm not going to give her a makeover in today's episode. She's going to still look a little bit the same in the next episode too. So I think we'll give her a whole new look for her young adult look, like when she's like on her second term of college. So Daisy's still going to look the same until then. But yeah, let's go take a piece together and have a cake, everyone. Zachary and Rosie were like, nope, it's time for bed. I like how Cherry's still there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's send everyone home, by the way. Oh, and Daisy's getting ready to move out and everything. She has yet to get her letter, though, still. But maybe in the morning she'll get it, hopefully. All right, let's see if we can get our application status now and see if we got in. I hope so. It's been a couple of days. Fingers crossed, everyone. <gasps> Yay! We got it! We got our acceptance letter! So she has been accepted to University of Brightchester and Foxbury Institute, but she did get accepted to get her distinguished degree. And oh my gosh, she got accepted to her dream school. So that is so exciting. Yeah, look at her. She's so happy. She's so, so happy. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And now we can officially enroll in university, which is so exciting. Okay, we're gonna do this in the next episode though. It's been a long one, like the first episode has been a pretty long one, so we're just gonna save that for next time. But while distinguished from reading university acceptance letter, being accepted into a large number of distinguished degree programs has Daisy smiling. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is so proud. Daisy is so freaking proud and I'm so proud of her. Like, oh, Daisy, you did it. All that studying, all that staying up all night, all that extra credit work and everything like that paid off. Daisy, you are officially going to university of your dreams. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this first episode of Yellow Generation. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited to follow Daisy's journey. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well so I know. And I also stream on Twitch three times a week over at twitch.tv slash Melixa. I would love to see my YouTube family over there. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. But thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!